Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm your host of Tell Me Wine TV, where we try to answer your questions about wine right here on the internet. And today we're not answering questions, but we have our first guest, Miss, Miss Mademoiselle Carol Laplace, famous daughter <laughs> of winemaker Jean-Claude Laplace. Is that your uncle's name? No. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pierre! <laughs> Pretty good guess. He's French, his name's Pierre, yeah. and uh, the Laplace family uh, is very well known for making uh, extraordinary wines in an otherwise lesser known part of France, Madaron. Did I say it right? Yeah, it's good. So uh, these wines, um, uh, the Madaron, which is southwest France, uh, tend to be a little bit more uh, rustic and uh, gravelly, and chewy, and um, robust style wines. Uh, the Tanat grape is very important in the region, uh, and uh, probably nowhere else in France, and perhaps nowhere else in the world. In Uruguay. Uruguay. Uruguay, yeah. one of the top wine producing countries in the world. Not, not Tanat. But um, but here we're just gonna we're just gonna we just we're lucky to have Carol here, and uh, she's gonna tell us just a little bit about the history of the uh, estate, and uh, we're gonna try one of her wines. She's gonna tell us about it. Thanks. Tell us a little bit um, in, in French. In French? Yes, for our French viewers. Okay. Uh, donc uh, dans le sud de la France, donc la région de. She loves making wine. <rire> on, donc nous, notre euh, vignoble est là depuis donc, trois générations, je crois qu'on a commencé euh, dans les années 1970 et il y a le vent en 1981. Wine runs through her veins. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. No, she's, she's actually speaking English. She can too. And uh, so we're going to try one of the wines. I mean, just give us a little, a little short history of the, of the in English. In English? Okay. Um, I'm the fourth generation of uh, winemakers uh, in our vineyards. We have uh, 60 hectares of uh, red, red grapes like Tanat and Cabernet, and we have also uh, white, it's another, another grapes. And that's about it. So, fourth generation, yep. and, and you endeavor to be a winemaker yourself. I am for the moment, I don't know, but maybe. After your bat mitzvah. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to try, uh, tell, tell, tell us a little bit about this wine and then we're going to try it. Uh, this one is um, traditional wine, and, but there is 80% uh, of Tanat and 10% uh, of Cabernet Sauvignon and 10% of um, Cabernet Franc. We, how do you say, we passed it in barrels. So, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. And um, so it's um, robust, right? And now 2005, that's the vintage here, was, was a strong vintage throughout France. Was it also strong yeah. in Madrid? Okay, so let's do the honors. And I can see right now it's, it's super dense and dark. So just put that down on the floor. What are you getting? So I've already said it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. It's very dark wine. We what? can smell uh, dark fruits. Dark fruits? Like uh, in English blueber blueberries? English blueberries. This is a note, <laughs> I think. Mean, I can't discern between different types. Um, I'm getting a little eucalyptus. Now, 2005, was it a hot vintage? Mm, yeah. So, you know, when I, for me, when I get that eucalyptus, that kind of extracted fruit on the nose, uh, when you have a hotter vintage and, and, the, and the fruit has become more concentrated. Okay. And I think that's what I'm getting here. A little pepper. Yes. Okay, so there we go. This is a typical wine of Madame. Yeah. But again, the, the, the family has a, a, a history uh, that is, I think, respected. 
and uh, from again a, a wine region that a lot of people are not thinking about offhand. Uh, the foods these wines go with, robust uh, cassoulet, yep. sturdy dishes, sausage, etc. Cheese. Cheeses. Cheese. Uh, duck in France. And, uh, she said duck. Duck. <laughs> and uh, meat with so sausages? No. Sausages. Yeah. Sausages. No. Oh. Yep. That's a different type of sausage. Okay, <laughs> tell me tell me what you're getting. It's um I don't know what I can What's well, in French? Yeah. Well I mean it's it's the tannins are, are there. Uh, they're they're fairly soft. Uh, but this wine still probably has at least, it's 2005 vintage, I'd say it probably has at least another five years to go and improve. Mm, yes, I agree. And um, uh, um, we can taste this wine a long time, I don't know. The finish. Yeah, it's finished. Yeah, I'm still, still tasting it uh, 30 seconds later. You know, it's a big, burly kind of a wine. And it's about nineteen dollars, US. Yes. And I think this one needs um, a, a real meat, uh, not strong, but the pork. Yeah, I need the veal. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> well, thank you for being our first uh, guest. Excuse me on Tell Me Wine TV, and we will try to have other guests like Carol Laplace flew all the way in here and welcome to the United States and thank you for being on our show.